everyone, it's Jen Sheffer, and in this video tutorial, we are going to look at the student notes feature in Nearpod. So I have launched a student paced lesson in Nearpod. So I'm gonna, going to start by entering the code. I'm in a student view here on my iPad, and I'm also in Chrome. I just wanna point out that for your students to use this notes feature, they need to delete the Nearpod app from their iPad and they need to use Nearpod directly in the Chrome browser. So when they get to this screen, they're going to type in their name and then they can simply tap on join lesson. So you see here, this is a slide presentation on product service management. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the slide where I have in your notes, please identify the product mix of Nike. Now this is a written statement instructing students to take notes, but we could add audio with our voice telling students that this is what we want them to do. We could also have a separate slide that is a video of us talking about what we want them to take notes on, but this is somewhat traditional in the sense that I'm just saying, please identify the product mix of Nike. So what the students would do is if you look on the far right hand side at the upper corner of the iPad, you're going to see a notes icon. It looks like a little notebook page with a pen, pencil. So when I tap on that, the first thing students need to do is choose a method to save their notes. They're not going to select send via email because the email comes from Nearpod and they're only allowed to receive emails from within the Burlington domain. So uh, that will not be the choice. Uh, they're not gonna save to OneDrive because that's not what we're using. We're using Google Drive. So they're going to tap on save to Google Drive. Then they'll be prompted to select their Google account. They will tap allow and now they can start adding their notes. So I can just say Nike's product line. Consists of sneakers, clothing, etc. I would continue taking those notes. So then I can go to the next slide and you see here, identify one product line of Nike. So I can say sneakers. My students would be writing in full complete sentences or they would be following your instructions for note taking. Um, I believe the next one was one item within that line. So I'm gonna say um, Nike Joyride. I just got a pair of those for Christmas and I love them. So um, let me just, Spell that correctly, Nike Joyride. So there you have it. It's very simple to have students write their notes. And then when they're done, they're going to be sent to the student. Uh, the, pardon me, they'll be in the student's Google Drive. So um, in the next portion of this video, we're gonna take a look at how those notes appear for the students. So I'm going to go ahead and click on exit and hit yes. And now we'll take a look at what the students will see next. So the next step for the students to access the notes that they've taken is they're going to open up their Google Drive. And then from here, they can tap on those three lines in the upper left-hand corner where it says search in Drive. And then they can just tap on recent. And it may take a few minutes, but you'll see here, chapter 30 outline, when I tap on that and open it up, it's going to load and it says my name. And then slide by slide, you'll see my notes. So we come down here, Nike's product line consists of sneakers and clothing, and that was on uh, slide six. And then slide seven, there are my notes, sneakers, Nike Joyride. So what you may wanna have your students do just to keep them organized is to actually tap on those three dots next to that uh, file and they can tap on move and go to my drive, click on the folder and you could have them name that Nearpod notes or chapter 30 notes, if it's related to a specific chapter and unit, whatever you want them to name, 
those notes is entirely up to you. If they called the folder Nearpod, they could in turn add subject areas within the Nearpod folder. Um, that organizational structure is completely up to you as a teacher. Uh, that being said, if, if this is uncharted territory for you and you would like my assistance on you know, the best strategy for helping your students stay organized with their notes, um, if you're trying this for the first time and you'd like me to Google Meet into your class and assist students and you with this process, this note-taking process, I'd be more than happy to. I think it's a great way to make sure students are staying um, attentive during a lesson and whatever content appears on those slides, whether it's um, graphics or um, different images, if it's, it's technical in nature, or science or math related concept, whatever the subject area is, um, definitely taking notes is a um, great way to help them remember material. It's also a great preparation for the high school level. So. Um, I hope this has been helpful and um, it's pretty simple. I think it's a really great feature of Nearpod. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I'm happy to help and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this tutorial.